Hey guys, it's me, Jen. Welcome back to this channel, Shadow Girl. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something else, which is a little different. It's a little bit of like a video tag going on right now. A lot of YouTubers are going through their old styles and talking about how they used to dress and about their style evolution into what they are today. And that's what I want to talk about today because back in the day, I used to sit there and take um, pictures every day of an outfit that I would wear because I had this nice full length mirror and I would, before I go to school, take a picture of it. So you can really see like on my Facebook album, there's what? There's over 400 pictures. We're not gonna go through them all. I'm gonna pick out some gems and really see what's going on. When I look back on them, I'm just like, oh man, what was I thinking? Should I do it through my phone or should I do it through my computer? Let's open up my computer here. Sorry, it's quite dirty. Let's get some old gems up here. The oldest picture that I have in here is June 4th, 2012. Wow. Some of these pictures are so bad. Like, I think I was just using my iPhone and taking a picture like this through the um, mirror and sometimes it's just so shaky. Like, my selfie game wasn't so strong then, okay? But now, it never shakes. Let's go to this one. This picture here, oh my God. This was my like platinum stage and actually this is kind of around the time that I met my husband back in Canada. Oh my God, LOL, my husband liked this picture. <laughs> so Ariana bought me that phone case actually and I loved it. It was so bejazzled and jeweled and I used to love wearing um, these kind of cargo pants, cargo, but they were so comfortable and I would love to wear this kind of white shirt with a black bra underneath like that was my thing i loved showing my undergarments through white shirts i don't know why but i did and i used to wear even heavier makeup than i wear now and you can see like my eyes look a little bit different um like dark and that's because this is like through my circle lens phase i had so many circle lens i had like pink blue purple like i loved it all i hated my natural eye color Oh, this is a good picture here. This is like kind of, I guess I, I could kind of call this like my gyaru stage. I think everyone who's lived in Japan and likes Japanese fashion to a point has had a gyaru stage, okay? I liked these kind of like page boy shorts and ruffle waist. They're very cute. And then I wore a dress shoe with like a little heel and a sock. So in Japan, it's very uh, common, popular, even now for people to wear socks with everything. Sometimes people's sock game here is like better than my whole body game, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm using hair extensions. I would curl them so my hair was like super poofy, like a gadu girl. And I used to use fake tanner so much during this little point. Sorry guys, I've switched to the phone just because my computer is dying on me. This is when I was visiting my brother in Montreal and I felt like I could dress more um, edgy than compared to my little hometown in Nova Scotia. So I have so much going on here. I have hair extensions again, circle lens, heavy makeup. I have a cross dress shirt on. Faux fur vest, which I still have downstairs. I still use that, okay? That guess vest. And a faux leather jacket, a bright blue pop of color skirt, tights with polka dots, and these shoes. Now you can't see on these shoes, but they were all spiky on the back, and I loved them. Yeah, I. I was hella feeling myself in this outfit. I remember this day with my brother. Out of all the outfits that I just showed you guys, if I had to choose one to wear now, it would probably be this one. I feel like this is most like me out of all of them. So let's fast forward to my first year in Japan. So my first year living in Japan, I was super countryside. I couldn't 100% wear like what I wanted to wear just because I was in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, you can see the pictures that I'm showing now. I still kind of really liked the girly style, but um, in some of these pictures in the same year, I started dressing a little bit more edgier, a little bit like more black. It's like I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, you know? This is now like six months into living in Japan and you can see my fashion has completely changed. Um, for example, like this one. I'm wearing dress pants, black flats, this whole dress shirt with a extremely oversized sweater over it. This is a very uh, Japanese trend. Even now you'll see women dressed like this. Like I would still kind of wear this outfit going to work. I think I really started to like 
wearing baggier clothing, a little bit more dress shirts, a little bit more adult. I mean, this still isn't like so much of an adult, but yeah, this is very like, I'm living in the countryside of Japan fashion. <laughs> then I moved to Yokohama four years ago. I feel like my style's maturing a little bit now. Um, this is like when I started really shopping at Zara a lot. My natural hair color is coming out um, because I didn't dye my hair at all that first year. So I think I started to become really influenced by stuff that I was seeing in GU and around Yokohama. So for example, um, beanies. I started to wear a lot of beanies, a lot more like feminine mixed with masculine pieces. I feel like this is kind of transitioning into what I am like today, mixing feminine and masculine pieces. Like for example, this super oversized um, dress shirt layered with a black tank top and you know, a choker. And now getting into a little bit more recent times, I kind of went through like a thing. I was tired with my natural hair color and I wanted to go back platinum blonde. This is actually kind of like when I started to get into doing a fashion blog and then a little bit of YouTube. Like I started making my first YouTube video around this time in 2015. I still kind of, I still dig this outfit, like a white roll neck, gray high-waisted pants, black loafers, a gray Chester coat jacket. I still really like this outfit. I think now though, I'm, I'm not used to wearing such tight jeans. I like comfortable jeans, not like to be 100% sucked in. I started draping and this is around the time that draping was like a thing to me. I loved draping everything. I didn't like wearing my coats. I just draped them. And around this time, um, I loved the whole bomber look. So I started to pick up bombers and GU was carrying a ton of bombers at the time. Let's fast forward to recent times. So I think very much at that time, I was still finding myself. Now that I get older, I've become a lot more comfortable with myself and my own body. And the older I get, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I might not be a size two, a size four anymore, but I'm still gonna wear whatever the hell I wanna wear. Let's look at some photos of like this year. I still play around with like um, Japanese trends. So like really oversized wide leg pants and stuff like that, as well as Western trends, more form-fitting stuff. To me, this is a very Japanese-inspired outfit. The whole trend of the wide leg pants and not really being form-fitting and layering of a tank top over a shirt. Yeah, so this to me is very Japanese-inspired, while something like this, a Def Leppard t-shirt tucked into mom jeans with sunglasses and a choker. To me, this is very Western looking. I don't see very many women here dressed like that. Um, this has to be one of my favorite Instagram pictures that I have. I love it. I'm just like, yeah, Tokyo against racism. I'm really into like oversized pieces and tucking it into my jeans to show that I do have a little bit of a waist, you know. I think this photo is another great example of how I like to dress now. A casual bomber jacket, sweater tucked into mom jeans, and a pop of color on the boot or the shoe. I think the shoe kind of makes the outfit. It gives it a little oomph, you know? This is taking that same beanie that I showed before and putting it into like 2017. I feel kind of like alternative wearing this. It's like alternative sporty chic. So full leather skirt, Adidas jacket, beanie, chunky boots. Yeah, give it to me. I definitely think I'm a little bit more of a chameleon now that I'm getting older. I don't want to just focus on one genre, I like to focus on all of them. Some people might say that, you know, you should find your signature look as you get older, but I'm just not ready to do that yet, you know? I still got time. God, this video is going to be a long one to edit. <laughs> How did you guys feel seeing old Jenny and her fashion? Do you guys think I've changed a lot? What do you guys think? So that is all for my style evolution. Um, I mean, fashion is fashion, it's always changing. You're always changing, you know, people are always growing and getting older, and I'm sure what I wear this year might not be what I wear in like three years from now, you know what I mean? It's fun to reflect back to when you're younger and see like stuff that you wore then that you probably would never wear now, you'd be caught dead wearing now, and some things that you're like, oh yeah, you know, I'd still kind of rock that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can comment down below which kind of stage you liked. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, click that little red button, make it gray, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!